Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Phantom Strategies. So in this video, in this morning video right now, it's 8.13 a.m. Eastern Time here in U.S. and I wanted to do a Bitcoin update, our daily Bitcoin update. I want to see how it's looking, what are some of the potential. Right now we saw some retracement in the overnight session and um, Basically, right now we are coming to that trend line support. Um, if I go back, if I blow this up, so this trend line, the pink trend line, this is coming all the way from the bottom that we made uh, at 5,883 levels. Um, and that's the support trend line that's coming right um, uh, on the daily. Um, so we are sitting right on that support line as of right now. Uh, we also have some previous um, resistance now that will be acting as a support uh, from um, February 27th I believe um, so that should be acting as a support as well that was a previous resistance um, so it's critical that we have we we should we need to hold up the support levels um, if we cannot hold the support level of this 10,900 then the next level of support is going to be around 10,650 and 10,600 um, around that range or so around 10,600 range um, so that's a couple of support over there that's the moving average um, the 20 day moving average 11 day moving average both of them are coming right on it um, so on the downward there is plenty of support I it's, it's not like there is no flooring uh, there is there's plenty of support but the key is we don't wanna get to those levels we, we wanna make sure this retracement happens uh, it's a small retracement and then just finds the support and then it pretty much gets out of this resistance zone all right so the key um the first thing that we want to watch today is that it's, if it's holding that 10,900 support levels um second support level is going to be around 10,600 on the upside let's look at the let's look at the smaller time frame so on the smaller time frame if we can you know um, on the intermediate if we can get over that obviously the 11,600 mark that will be very bullish and I, I was watching the futures market I was watching the global market I don't everything is in green over there right now so you know um, so right now it's yeah see S&P is green NASDAQ is green all the futures are green right now so there are all the scenarios in like you know the bulls have all the cards in their hand right now they just need to come through and you know get us higher um, from this 11,600 levels okay um, let me just quickly okay so again we talked about this inverse head and shoulder pattern that's um, that's looking rather nicely on the daily but we need to break that neckline we haven't broken that neckline and the resistance on those neckline we have to break those neckline it's around 11,740 or 11,700 around 11,700 range the reason I is it's hard to give the exact number because this data is coming from uh, coinbase the data from bitrex will be different the data from um, you know uh, bitstamp will be a little bit different so there will be uh, you know price fluctuation in this data um, so you wanna keep those things in mind it's not going to be exact exact number but it's going to be very close enough it's going to be in like 10 or $20 range um, in Bitcoin especially okay um, so there is plenty of um, there's plenty of news that's coming out I mean but there's nothing that is 
like overly striking as a red flag you know there's bitcoin on lightning uh, lightning network too risky um i mean this is just a uh, author trying to just make something up and honestly like you know coindesk they really have to do a better job of providing good content um rather than like you know just something just something to just create like you know um the small non relevant stories you know it's it's um like you know for instance i was just going through this you know this their articles and um one of this article is blockchain needs centralization says chinese sec official i mean just because one official made a comment does that really is it relevant is it really relevant and is it relevant to have uh, this article on the front front of your like you know on your website um that's the questions you know people need to ask and people need to really analyze because they are making content based on like you know non relevant news i in my opinion but uh that being said you know you always want to you always want to watch your blind spots you want to make sure um that if there are things are like you know there are something that is major coming up you are aware of those things right um brazil they are pretty bullish on bitcoin and um mining investment and all that so i mean there is nothing really strikes as a red flag so the global market is um positive there is no news that really strikes as a red flag there are plenty of people on sideline who are getting trying to get in into the cryptocurrency game so everything is like you know at this point like we just bulls just needs to like you know we uh, use the support levels and then we need to get out of this um resistance zone okay um the scenario for march is still very strong okay as long we stay over that 10300 levels scenario for march is still very strong okay i just wanted to get it out there so just because we have retracement here doesn't mean that no sky is going to start falling is <laughs> going to we are like you know in doomsday retracements or healthy um healthy things you know is it needs to is needs to happen and it needs to happen regularly in order to have a sustainable long term um trend okay so hopefully people don't get panicked on the retracement retracement often gives you a lot of buying opportunities uh you don't you know keeping it simple like you know buying um buying it when there are things are tracing and selling it when things are stronger you know you you sell into the resistance you buy into the support okay so when you keep it those simple logic simple methodologies it's easier to like you know navigate this market and i have said it plenty of time before um there's a lot of money that you can make in cryptocurrencies and the crypto world the real question is are you going to survive long enough in in this crypto journey to make that money so uh make sure you always do your risk management properly when things are coming up against the resistance you know you want to make sure you are you know setting those stop losses your following those uh, risk management properly your when it's things are coming to the support levels you know you have enough funds in your account to go and buy some positions so um so the, the real question is like you know you have to do those things and you then are you going to have enough funds and are you going to have a decent portfolio in order to survive this crypto journey okay um so that being said the levels i already mentioned earlier um let's see how the days goes by 
if there is any significant changes that happens throughout the day then I will create another video on Bitcoin or I will cover Bitcoin with some other altcoins that I will be doing shortly uh, but I will start doing um, some altcoins in a bit uh, especially I want to cover Ripple so there is some um, Ripple and Coinbase um, CEOs are coming on CNBC Fast Money today so um, we saw the spike in Ripple yesterday it went to that resistance um, if you see that uh, it went it barely pierced that 100 day and the 50 day moving average and it was going to act as a resistance so uh, it barely pierced those resistance zone and came right back now um, those CEOs are coming on fast money in the evening um, Eastern time now is it going are they going to announce something major who knows <laughs> we don't know that and even if they announce something major it, it's going to like you have to um, you just have to like you know play you buy it still you buy it on the like you know at the right value you don't start buying on the hypes you know you don't start buying into the resistance if you started buying into the resistance you probably like you know sitting at 10 percent or 20 percent decline right now so you start buying into the support levels when it comes to the support levels that's when it becomes more attractive to buy and the smaller position and when it comes to the resistance level you start selling a little bit like smaller positions so keep those things in mind keep these are like you know um, small you know that if you're trying to create a habit here that will become your second nature like when you start investing and trading crypto so um, these are some of the good practices that you should implement in your trading and um, hopefully hopefully you know that will really help you with your investment and your trading okay um, so that's all for uh, right now I will create some altcoins uh, later in the day I will cover Litecoin and Ethereum in detail um, other thing I want to cover is like there are a couple of major ones that I want to cover as well but I will create a separate video on that okay um, so if you're new to the channel please make sure to subscribe uh, I po post this content every day um, if you think this videos are helping you with your trading if you think you're learning something every day then please give me a thumbs up and I will be creating more videos for you soon. Alright, thank you.